He's the 2021 John Mackey Award winner out of Colorado State and, of course, a uh, Fort Morgan High School standout, uh, Trey McBride, who joins us right now. Trey, appreciate your time. We have so much to get into, so uh, let's get right to it. How you doing right now going into the uh, NFL draft coming up late April? What's your regular routine, and what are the emotions you're feeling right now? Excitement, some anxiety, maybe uh, a combination of things? Yeah, uh, you know, just eager and excited more than anything. Um, you know, I've been out here in Phoenix, Arizona training, so uh, still out here really enjoying it and uh, go back to Colorado this weekend for my pro day. But uh, just more eager and excited than anything. It's a great opportunity and, uh, you know, once-in-a-lifetime opportunity, so I'm really enjoying it. Sure. So what is the normal day for you, Trey, in terms of your conditioning and working out? Do you have a consistent routine basically seven days a week? Oh uh, yeah, so you know, a typical day, I'm, I'm, uh, you know, doing like a, a little agility run in the morning, working on whether that's my forty or um, different agility drills that we do there. Um, then I'll usually get a massage or something, some kind of treatment, recovery, and then um, usually some kind of position work, uh, running routes, catching the ball a little bit. Then I'll come back in the afternoon, have a. Uh, a lift, um, you know, every other day, sometimes it's upper body, sometimes it's lower body, and then uh, end the day with some more treatment, red light therapy, cryo, different things like that. But that's a typical day. Uh, really enjoying the, the whole process and uh, excited for it to uh, for this upcoming month, for sure. Trey, how did the NFL Combine go for you? Was that just uh, grueling, or were there certain exercises that you really enjoyed and things you did better than others? Yeah, no, it was really cool. It was one of those things like uh, you watch your whole life growing up watching the combine and and just to be able to be a part of that was very special. It was a very long week, a long, you know, a lot of sitting around, a lot of waiting around, but it was really cool to to interview with NFL teams and to go out there and and do all the drills and run and jump and catch the ball, all that stuff. It was a, it was a lot of fun. So I, I really enjoyed that part, but it was very stressful. Um, but I'm glad it's over. I'm glad I was able to participate. Yeah, no doubt about it. Visiting with Trey McBride out of Colorado State, the John Mackey Award winner in 2021. Let me go back to your last two years at CSU. Obviously, you had the four-game season in 2020, and the stats were a little bit odd because you had 22 receptions and four touchdowns, yet for your final year in 2021, 90 receptions and only one touchdown. Did that bother you at all that you didn't get into the end zone as much as you would have liked? Or do you figure, hey, I had such a good year, over 1,100 yards receiving. It was a great uh, season, even though the team didn't do well record-wise. No, no, it never bothered me. Um, truthfully, we scored a lot of touchdowns. We weren't a, a huge throwing team, so uh, I knew what I was getting myself into. But truthfully, uh, as long as we were scoring touchdowns, it didn't matter uh, whether I was doing it or, or the running back. So uh, it, was a, it was a lot of fun. I had a great productive year last year, and, and uh, no, that didn't bother me at all. Well, you had a touchdown second game of the season against Vanderbilt, not a receiving touchdown after that, but you got to tell me about that 69-yard run in, in the uh, finale against Nevada. I know it was off a fake punt, but did you think at that point, man, I'm actually going to score a touchdown on this play? No, yeah, it was a – yeah, I was I was actually done for the game. They called a fake punt, and then uh, I went in there. It worked out where I didn't have to check out of it. Ran the fake punt, and I knew uh, as soon as I got the ball that it was going to be a big play. And uh, there was one guy to be stiff armed in for a touchdown. It was very cool. And uh, you know, it was my last career play as a as a Colorado State Ram. So that uh, that means a lot to me for sure. And you're the second tight end that'll be drafted out of Colorado State. How much contact have you had? Or with Joel Dreesen, obviously, who was a standout as well at Fort Morgan High School. What about uh, the relationship with you and Joel? Yeah, you know, Joel's a great person, a guy that, you know, I can lean on to, a guy that I can talk to, and uh, a really good friend of mine. So I'm really thankful that I've had Joel in my corner, and uh, he's a really good friend of mine, a guy that I can call and ask for advice. So uh, I've really enjoyed talking with him. Trey, is there anybody in the NFL that you've seen here – while you were growing up or during your college years, you said, I want to pattern myself after that guy. This is a guy that I really look at as a standout that I want to play like once I get to the NFL. Uh, you know, there's so many great tight ends and so many so many guys to look up to. But, you know, Joel was a great guy growing up that I really admired and wanted to be. Uh, you know, he was uh, the, the guy everyone wanted to be like from Fort Morgan. So I really admired him. But but now, you know, there's, uh, you know, there's the Travis Kelsey's, the George Kittles, guys like that that you can take things from and, and learn from them. But but growing up, I just remember watching Joel and wanting to be just like him and everything he did. 
By the way, was that always your dream from when you were a kid saying, man, I want to play in the NFL? Or did that start to come into play as you were getting older and realizing, man, I've got some special talent here. And then maybe at a later time in your life, you said, now I want to be an NFL player. You know, I think, you know, everyone growing up, every little kid in, in uh you know, that play sports wants to, wants to be an NFL player, wants to play at the highest level and wants to be on that stage. So growing up, I mean, that's all you dream of. And, and, uh, you know, you want to have that opportunity to play. And then, you know, I go to college, play there. And then, uh, fortunately enough, I'm, I'm in the position I'm in now. So that's always been my dream. That's always been, I wanted to do. I couldn't imagine uh, doing anything else but playing football right now. Visiting with Trey McBride, Trey, you know, you can't get to this point by yourself. What about all the support system you've had, your parents, your coaches, I mean, people that have been uh, by your side for the last uh, decade plus as you were growing up and now obviously uh, approaching the NFL draft. Yeah, no, I've been very grateful, very uh, blessed with the, the family that I've had. My parents have been very supportive. Um, you know, they I can probably count on my hands how many games they've missed. You know, my brother playing there at Colorado State with me, it was uh, – very special. So I'm very thankful for them. My parents are, are very supportive, very caring, loving. And, and then, you know, the coaches that have got me to this position. Um, so there's there's so many people to thank. But but most importantly, my, my family is, uh, has been there since since the beginning. OK, a couple of final things, Trey. What about the uh, the Fort Morgan Mustangs? They won the state title this year. How much were able to follow that journey all the way to the championship? No, absolutely. You know, being a, a, an alum of that school, you always want to see them succeed. And, and when uh, when they were making that playoff run, it was very special, very cool. And, uh, you know, I was um, very, very cool. And uh, to see them win the championship is something special. You always want to see your your uh, your roots do well. So I'm, I'm always pulling for those guys. I want to see them succeed. And uh, it's, it was very cool to watch them win that thing. Well, and speaking of high school, you were an awesome three-sport athlete, over 1,000 career points in basketball. Uh, baseball still have the record 23 home runs 117 RBIs now the word was out there I don't know if it was actually true but that when you got to that playoff game freshman year against Valor Christian there was a scout for the Blue Jays out there to see you did you ever consider maybe taking a route like a Russell Wilson a Kyler Murray because those are great baseball players they said man maybe I'd like to play baseball someday because you hit over 600 your senior year and you excelled at that sport just as much as you did with football no, I really love baseball. I I, uh, I would have loved to play, but but football's always been my passion. It's always been my love. Um, so what I wanted to do. Um, so I obviously maybe considered it when I was younger, but I always knew I wanted to be a football player. That's where my heart was at, and uh, just kind of played those sports to to pass time to get back to football season. All right, final thing. I'm not going to ask you which team you'd like to go to. That seems like a senseless question. Where you go is where you go. But were you strictly a Broncos fan growing up, or was there another team that you also liked? No, you know, being from Colorado, I've always uh, always been a Broncos fan, always loved uh, everything they've done. So so uh, that's that's been my team growing up, but that'll that could change here in the next couple of months. <laughs>